Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heidi. If this is your first time here and if you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Today I'm going to do a fun, colorful eye and a nude lip. I'm really excited about this nude lip. I tried it for the first time like four days ago and I've been wearing it ever since. So I really wanted to share it with you in this video. I have a couple products here that I haven't used on my channel before. So I will be sharing my thoughts on those. Without further ado, let's just get started. I'll do my face makeup first and then I'll move on to the eyes and then lips. I'm starting with the Bondi Sense Face SPF 50. It's been out of stock and I've tried like two other sunblocks and that is why my face has been breaking out. Hopefully my skin will go back to normal now that I'm using this. In my last video I mentioned the finish of this, just how like glow it is. So I thought to share with you in this video. I'm going to apply about that much. I do like to apply a quite generous amount to my face because there have been different opinions over the years of how much sunblock you're supposed to use to get the actual like benefit of it and i rather wear too much than too little because I want to protect my skin I'm even gonna apply a little bit more to my forehead and I already applied this before on my neck so this is why I wanted to share this with you it's because of this finish incredibly reflective. I feel like the teen man right now. At least for me this doesn't clock any bars which is like my favorite thing about it and obviously the very high SPF. I just wanted to show you what I meant in my last video by saying like it's very very glowy. Next I'm gonna apply primer. I think a matte primer on top of this would be best. I actually don't have like a mattifying primer. I definitely should get one of those. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments down below. I prefer drugstore primers. This is probably the most mattifying of the four primers that I own. This is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I'm applying one pump of this. Alright, that didn't help too much. We are going to combat this glow with some powders later. I know some people really like a super duper glowy finish, but that's just not my preference necessarily. Because of all of these scars on my face at the moment, I'm going to apply a light foundation to just even out my skin tone. This is the Barium Fresh Face Foundation in the shade 2. A very nice light coverage foundation, or I like to call this a skin tint. I feel like it's more a skin tint than a foundation. I'm using the Revolution Concealer and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer in C3.5. I bought this because I ran out of this e.l.f. Hydrating Chemical Concealer in Fair Warm. And I mentioned in a previous video that I wasn't really sure which one I liked better. This has a little bit more yellow in it and this one has more of a peachy undertone. So I noticed earlier today when I was using this Revolution Concealer on my bare face that it did look a little bit too orange. That is the biggest problem that I normally have with concealers and foundations. If you have a similar problem, often if you use like a skin tint or whatever, it kind of helps blend everything together a little bit better. So because I don't really have anything left in this e.l.f. concealer, I will be using the Revolution concealer. I'm applying a little bit of liquid blush, very fresh face, cheek and lip tint in Caramel Kisses. These don't have a huge amount of pigment, but I actually really like that. A lot of liquid blushes, they come in these tiny little tubes. They are very, very pigmented and then you might have a problem with like blending it out or you're using too much or something like that. So. I really actually do like this. As you blend in the blush, it shears out. That's a very natural wash of color. It's really difficult to mess up this blush, so that's why I like it. It's very user-friendly. Now I'm gonna move on to setting my face. This is a product that I haven't used on my channel before. It is the Maybelline Matte Maker Mattifying Powder. This is what it looks like. This is the shade number 10, Classic Ivory. And this is a little bit brightening on my skin, but it doesn't have a ton of pigment, so it brightens my under eyes quite nicely, but I can still use it all over my face, which I really, really like. I used this for the first time this morning, actually, and I just applied this on top of my SPF, which, as you saw, is very glowy. My skin didn't look super powdery, it didn't look cakey or heavy or like I had a thick layer of 
powder on so just my first impressions i really like this this is the echo tools controlled setting brush it's a really nice setting brush especially to use under the eyes it's a really good size so i'm just going to dip into this and set my under eyes first you can see how well that mattified the under eye compared to this side So here's the powder on only this half of my face. I didn't apply it on the blush area because I will be applying a powder blush on top. But this is what that looks like compared to this side without powder. Here's the powder on both sides of my face. Next I'm using the MAC blush in Harmony to contour or bronze the face. To set the liquid blush, I'm going to use two different blushes, I'll mix them together. These are the Revolution Blusher Reloaded in Peaches and Cream and Sweet Pea. I'm using a little bit more of the shade Sweet Pea. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender again and just blend out the edges. And I'm applying a tiny bit of highlighter. This is the Revlon Colorstay Endless Glow Highlighter in Citrine. This is a liquid highlighter, but it works quite well on top of powders. I'm applying this with my finger, just to the high points of the cheeks. And that is it. I'm not going to apply highlighter anywhere else, because I'm quite enjoying the more matte base. For my brows, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in Blonde and I'm starting by combing down my brow hairs and then I draw a line on top. And then I'm gonna take the spoolie again and comb the brow hairs up and this is also going to kind of blend in that line that I just drew. As you can see, it looks much more defined than this brow with a very little product. This is the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued Hair Gel. I'll apply a little bit of this to my brows to keep them in place the entire day. And then I'll press down the brow hairs. For the eyeshadow, I'm first going in with this shade called Sea Breeze. It's a light blue shade from the Beauty Crop Pina Colada palette. I did a review on this palette a while ago. If you're interested, I will leave a card somewhere here and you can check it out. This is the Echo Tools blending brush. I'm going in the crease first. You can see this has a lot of pigment. Then I'm going from the corner to the lash line. That is the shape that we want. Then I'm using the other side of the brush. This is the Echo Tools smudging brush and it's completely clean. And I'm just gonna go over the edges to make sure they're blended. I'm gonna use this light green shade from a Morphe palette and this shade is going on the lid. Then I'm going back in with the first brush without any additional blue eyeshadow on it and I'll blend the two shades together. I'm taking this shade called Splash, which is a shimmery light blue shade from the Pina Colada palette. I'll apply this with my finger. I'm going to apply this on top of the green and hopefully you can still see the green kind of through this shadow. I'm gonna actually kind of shear it out. I'll tap my finger to a paper towel and then I'll just kind of lightly tap this on top. You can definitely still see the green through it. Then I'm taking this shade called Glass, which is a matte light beige shade from the Revolution Mega Star Diamond Edition palette. This is a small blending brush from Morphe, and this is going under the brow. This is the Echo Tools Define brush, and I'm taking that first blue shade, using this on the lower lash line. This is a pencil brush from Gauche. I'm using a little bit of that green shade 
on top of that blue under the eye. And I want my upper lash line to be a little bit darker and for that I'm using this MUA Intense Color Eyeliner in Dusk. I bought this as a grey eyeliner online but it's actually not grey, it's kind of like a muted purplish brown shade. It's actually really pretty and I think this would look amazing as a lip liner as well. It is very very creamy so I don't know how well this is actually going to last on the, on the lid. I'm applying this very close to the upper lash line. I'm not drawing a wing or anything like that, I just want this to darken the upper lash line. And then I want to set it because it is quite creamy. So I'm going to use a mix of a couple of shades from this Revolution palette. I'll use Mo, Choco and Mineral. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. This is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. In my previous video I mentioned that I sometimes use like the little pieces that I cut off of my strip lashes as an outer corner lash. So I have these little pieces, they look like they're probably from my Eldora lashes. They're little wispy pieces of lash. I will apply two pieces on the outer corner. Just taking a little bit of lash glue. It's easiest for me at least to do this with tweezers. Catch the lash like this. Once the glue has had a little bit of time to dry, I'll just stick this to the outer corner. And then I will apply another piece. I'll leave a little bit of a space between the two pieces. And then I go close to the lash line and then just kind of pinch the lashes so that they'll be kind of blended to my natural lashes a little bit better. And that's it, that's just kind of like a extra little something on the outer corners. It kind of helps to lift the eye a little bit as well. All right, that's the eyes done. I didn't do an inner corner highlight this time, but I feel like it looks nice without it. Next, I'm going to contour my lips. I'm using the same MAC blush in Harmony that I used for contouring my face. And this one is Ego Tools Eye Lip Blur Brush. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of product and I'm going over my lip line. And this is going to create a little bit of a shadow around my lips and it's gonna make my lips look a little bit bigger. It makes the lips look so much more like plump. The lower lip in the middle you can go kind of a little bit lower since, at least in my case, my lower lip kind of curls down. So you can't really see this part, so I'll contour this a little bit more. So this is what it looks like just with that contour. You could just put on like a lip gloss or lipstick on top of this and not use a lip liner at all if you want. That is a super easy lip for like every day. If you struggle with lip liners, for example, or your lips might be really like kind of uneven, if you use a lip liner, it might like make it look even more uneven. It might just be a quicker way for you to do your lip makeup. I'm gonna use a lip liner. This is the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Beige. With this. Just kind of quickly. And then I'm also lightly coloring in my lips completely with this. Right, kind of a good base color, like that. And then I'm using a tiny bit of this Barium lip liner in Minx. This is more of a purplish mauve type of lip liner. This is also a product that I haven't used on my channel before. I definitely have a problem with buying lip liners. I just keep buying them. My lip liners are just like one of my favorite products to use. I'm going like right over my natural lip line with this. And then I'm gonna color in the outer corners. And then I'll use my finger to blend it in. You can stop at any point because I feel like this is one of those lip looks that it looks good in like every step that you do. And that's actually a really nice color as well. It goes well with the eyes. But I'm gonna lighten it just a tiny bit. This is the Elf Series Setting Lipstick in Creme, one of my favorite nude lipsticks. This formula in this specific shade, it's not very 
creamy if you have chap lips it looks really bad with this so that's why i'm gonna apply a gloss on top so you can't really see it but this one has a really nice color and it looks good with the gloss that i'm gonna use next again you can leave it at this if you like a matte lip but I wanted to add a gloss since I have a new gloss to share with you. This is one of the new L'Oreal Plumping Lip Glosses. This one is in the shade Soar. It's a really, really nice nude pink shade. And it has a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's not super obvious. This is what the applicator looks like. It has like two kind of circles, so it holds a lot of product in. So you don't necessarily need to dip back into the bottle. It has a good amount of product already in the wand. As always, I don't really see any plumping. With this plumping glosses but it is nice because it kind of softens my lips it has a nice kind of scent it actually smells like caramel it smells really good this is what the gloss looks like on so this is the finished look Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe share this video with someone. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing now. That would mean a lot to me and thank you so much to everyone who has already subscribed. I hope you're having a great week and I hope to see you here next time. Bye!